When it comes to RV repair and upgrades, many RV owners wonder, can I fix my RV myself? Hello, I'm Stephen Holmes, Director of Service Operations for Keystone RV Company. We know your time is valuable, and we understand the cost associated with bringing your travel trailer or your fifth wheel to your dealership for repairs. That's why as a manufacturer, we're sharing our RV Pro Tips in a series of DIY RV videos for those of you that might want to tackle the simple stuff yourself. Remember to always use caution, and if at any time you are uncomfortable, please stop what you're doing and schedule an appointment with your authorized dealership. Even more importantly, never work on any safety-related items. Welcome to another episode of RV Pro Tips. I'm Matt Aaron. Today I'll show you how to replace the seam tape in your RV. There are multiple reasons why you may want to replace your seam tape. A couple common reasons are discoloration from using harsh cleaners like something citrus based or uh, bleach cleaning chemicals. At times the tape can lift due to high humidity inside the RV. While seam tape can sometimes be repaired, in most situations it's simply just easier and more convenient to replace it. So for this job, the only tools and parts you'll need are a razor knife and your new piece of seam tape. So let's get started. So I brought an example with me today before we actually replace our seam tape. I want to show you what can go wrong when, uh, when you're peeling that off and why it's important to go down once you get it free from the corner to pull straight down. Because once you start pulling at an angle or twisting, and if you're going fast, you see how I just caught that paper. If you decided to just rip like that, now you're pulling paper, and in this case it didn't come across, but I'm lucky it didn't. So just be careful, go slow. You know, if you run into that situation, you can always stop, grab that paper, and try to uh, stop a larger repair than what you started with. So with your razor knife, take your blade, and underneath the trim here, at an angle, you're going to want to cut that, that tape just the width of the tape. You don't really want to go any further and cut any of the paneling. So now that you've cut the top and bottom, take your blade and work it underneath the edge of that tape. So I'll try to do this from the other side to make it easier for you to see. You want to just work that tape free enough that you can get a grip on it. And just gently work it free and then slowly just pull down and remove that whole piece. There we go. So to get started, start peeling the, the backing away. And try to start out with as straight edge as possible to make it easier to put this on. So peel a little back bit away, center this on your seam, and just try to tuck that in a little bit. And then slowly work your way down. Try and keep that centered on your seam the whole way. down to the bottom, tuck it up to your trim, take your knife, and there you go. And come back up here, and try to tuck that a little bit, and cut any excess off. Try not to scratch up your window frame or your panel while you're doing that. And there you go. If you have a DIY video you'd like to see, please leave us a comment. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page for more RV Pro tips or visit our webpage. Thanks for watching.